Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 12, also Episode 13, because we got a new synopsis. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so Supergirl is back on this Tuesday with episode 12. This is going to be the Diggle episode, so it's officially an Arrow crossover episode, which is very exciting because Diggle has shown up on all the other shows and Supergirl is the final show that he's showing up on. And so there was a promo released and it's not in super good quality, but it is online and it does tease what's coming in the episode. There's not that much to break down. Basically, we're gonna cover it in this video where we're gonna talk about lots of photos to do in next week. But basically what the promo slash trailer teased was that this episode is heavy to do with Azzy's character, Kelly, and she's going to be trying to protect everyone and she's going to be standing up as Guardian, becoming Guardian, and she's going to have the help of John Diggle in this instance as she believes maybe Team Supergirl has let her down and let people like her down in the city. So that's definitely something I was like, whoa. Hold on, like this is huge. She is accusing them of not helping and obviously they're going to step up and properly help with this specific need. Obviously they've got a big distraction in the form of Nixley right now, which is definitely taking all of Supergirl's concentration. So it's definitely good that Kelly is trying to snap them out of this and look at the real problems that the people of the city are suffering and she's obviously going to be that vigilante who's going to go around and help people and she's very courageous for jumping into it so soon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and break down some of the photos. So the first photo here inside the tower, we have John Diggle who is showing up in this episode. He is going to be heavily sharing screen time with Kelly because it seems like he is kind of stepping into a mentor type role because obviously he's gone through the struggles and he's become a vigilante all by himself but obviously with the assistance of Oliver and you know they sort of grew up together and Kelly hasn't had this as a vigilante obviously she's just recently felt the need to become a hero but she hasn't been training like all her life like John like John had a huge head start on any vigilante because of his military training and then him being a literal bodyguard for Oliver Queen and that kind of just naturally happened but for Kelly it was a bit less natural because she's having to properly learn to fight and I think John is going to have some good advice for her. Okay so let's move on to the next photo we have Kelly, Supergirl and Brainy and it seems that they are kind of chit chatting about what to do with the problem but I think this is pretty early on in the episode because behind Supergirl you can see the Guardian mask and in the trailer it was confirmed by Brainy that he would be the one to redesign the mask and redesign the suit for Kelly's needs. And so talking about Kelly's new suit, well we have her suit here. So you can see her without the helmet on, she's got the shield on the table, it's this kind of goldy bronze colour. I think it's definitely more gold, maybe it's just this photo. But her suit looks awesome, I can't wait to see her in action. It's been a long time coming, we've known about this for a very long time now. Set photos came out like months and months and months ago, because they did shoot this a while ago. And we've got John in the background, and he's definitely stepping up for that mental role, because it looks like in this scene specifically, Kelly is definitely in need of some assistance. Alright, so stepping outside, we have Kelly and her motorcycle. And she is fully suited up, you get to see Kelly in her Golden Guardian mask. And it's just a very nice photo and it showcases her suit really well. And I also think it's a neat touch that she has got the braided hair because it definitely differentiates herself from, you know, Kelly as a person so no one recognises her. Plus it just looks cool, I think, with the suit. However, as people brought up many times, stuff like this is very, very realistic given the fact that she would have to fully braid her hair every time she goes out as a vigilante, as a superhero, and it wouldn't make sense in reality because it would take up so much time just doing that. So it's more of a cool design idea that definitely works and I'm very excited for, but in reality, it's very inconvenient. Okay, so we got a wider photo. We got Brainy here in the alleyway. As you can see, her Guardian bike behind her. We got the whole team right here, 
all fully suited up as they go and probably try and face off against Nixley. Then going back inside, we have this cool blue glowing photo of John. Not specifically sure where it is. It could be somewhere completely different. Definitely doesn't look like the tower. And yeah, this pretty much confirms it. They're in some sort of like broken down, rubbled up building. And Supergirl is here as she is talking to Kelly and Diggle who have been doing some investigation it seems because Kelly's got a torch in her hand. You can see in the background the walls are all torn down and everything and it seems John is going to be helping because he's in the background of this photo as Supergirl walks into the room and she looks very kind of confused or a bit lost maybe so she doesn't really know what's going on here. Also it seems like maybe Brainy is going to be in the same scene. I believe this is the same scene but just before the point where she hits the room with the blue light and so you see Supergirl at the front we got Brainy and Jean in the back as they walk towards what is presumably Kelly and Diggle. Okay so this is a cool behind the scenes photo I wanted to include in the video because this episode is directed by David Ramsey and it's written by Azzy Tesfay herself. Very happy to see David Ramsey going around and directing all of these episodes. Also, it's good that Azzy gets to write one of her episodes, considering how big of a character Kelly has been in this season. Arguably, she is one of the biggest characters in this back half since Supergirl has returned. I believe she's had like two, maybe pushing on three episodes that are pretty much solely revolving around her, despite some other storylines going on. And so, yeah, that's about it for the photos, so I'm very much so looking forward to this episode. You don't have to wait long for this episode, it's going to be this Tuesday, so don't go anywhere because we're obviously going to review it when it comes out. But for now, let's move on to the next thing. So we have a synopsis for episode 13. This episode is titled The Gauntlet. So it goes like this. Supergirl must pass the test of courage. Supergirl and team race Nixley for control of a magical totem that controls courage. Supergirl and Nixley battle and each get a piece of the totem but learn the first person to pass the test of courage will gain the entire thing. Meanwhile, Lena is struggling to make sense of her newfound gift. Okay, so this is a pretty big episode. This is obviously continuing after Kelly's episode. We're going back into the deep end with Nixley and it definitely seems that she is the main villain of the whole season because there are so many episodes dedicated to her and them trying to stop her from getting control of these totems. Seems like the totems are the MacGuffin that is going to be carrying the season along. So that just means that Nixley's gonna be after them, Supergirl and the team are gonna be trying to race after them to stop Nixley from gaining control of these magic totems. And so the first totem that they're going for is seemingly Courage. And so Supergirl and Nixley, they battle it out and they each get a piece of the totem, but they learn that whoever is first to pass the test of courage will gain control of this totem and so obviously Supergirl is much more courageous but it seems like maybe there is something twisted to do with the totems because they weren't created out of like purity or any good really so what happens if Nixley does best her I think that's very very possible that she bests Supergirl in the test of courage although Supergirl is one of the most courageous people on earth and so meanwhile, Lena is struggling to make sense of her newfound gift. Her newfound gift is obviously her new magical powers. And this leads perfectly into the next synopsis, episode 14. And this goes like this. It's titled Magical Thinking. Lena must accept her newfound powers in order to help the super friends. Lena is uncertain about using her magical abilities to help Supergirl retrieve the second totem from Nixley. William struggles to write a story in the Super Friends that makes both the heroes and Andrea happy. Meanwhile, Kelly is thrilled that Esme has found a new home, but things go awry and the little girl's future is put in danger. So this is a Lena heavy episode, along with, obviously, heavy on Nixley, as I just mentioned. So this is Lena, actually, she's going to be struggling with her powers, she's going to be trying to use them, but she isn't sure if she is going to use it to help the super friends to retrieve the second totem from Nixley. And from this, we can infer in the episode before, she ends up getting the totem of courage, and she ends up getting the next one in this preceding episode, episode 14 this is. And so 
Lena is going to be the one who's going to have to fight Nixley using her magical abilities against Nixley's magical abilities and that could be the way to get Team Supergirl the second totem and take it away from Nixley and so meanwhile William is struggling to write a story that's going to please both his boss and also Supergirl and the Super Friends. He obviously has some sort of allegiance to Supergirl and the Super Friends because he has interviewed them. He definitely feels like he has a connection. Obviously, we know that Team Supergirl know William pretty damn well, especially Kara because they work together. But William isn't aware of that. But at the same time, he still has to please Andrea in order to keep his job because Andrea is breathing down their necks really hard to try and get out the Super Friends content. Okay, so the final thing in the synopsis is, meanwhile, Kelly is thrilled that Esme has found a new home. So Esme was the orphaned alien that we saw a couple of episodes ago, along with Kelly's new friend. But things don't go over all too well in this new place as Esme's future is put in danger and Kelly has to try and step in, probably as Guardian, and try and help Esme out. So I'm looking forward to these episodes, definitely interested about what is going to be going on. There is some big things coming in regards to Kelly and Lena specifically. But for now, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. If you would do that, it really helps out the channel, so I appreciate it a lot. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.